Hey guys, so I haven't made a video in a while, and honestly, I never really know what to make. I've been trying to space out and do random other stuff, as you can tell within the videos. But you know, I stem from just communication and ranting, talking videos of my life and feelings and thoughts. So that's what this video is going to be. Now, I'm titling this video, When Toxic People Return. Um, and the reason why that is, is because that's exactly what I'm talking about. So, recently I had somebody uh, get a hold of me through a different phone number. So, I obviously did not have the number blocked. I didn't know who it was. And as soon as it rang and I saw the area code, you know, you get that inkling of, oh, this is probably this person. And I looked at my partner and was like, you know, I think this person's trying to get a hold of me. And he was like, oh, well, just ignore it. And I did, and so I didn't answer. And then instantly, as soon as it ended, the phone started ringing again. Okay, well now I definitely know it has to be this person. Nobody else does this. Kept ringing. Okay, ignore it again. Instantly starts ringing again. Now, I don't know how most people are. I don't know if you've been in a ro uh, romantic relationship with someone who's been abusive. If you've been in family matters where it's been abusive. Uh, any type of relationship in your life that's been abusive. If you know how... Um, those traits can trigger other things just automatically. So when I'm seeing this number ringing, you know, now I'm trying to make excuses of, oh, well, it could be somebody else. Well, maybe it's a family member and I, I just don't have the number. When, of course, you know it's the person you don't want to have in your life. Now, I'm a very nice person, and unfortunately, it's a curse and a blessing all at the same time. So I enjoy being there for people. I always want to be that support system, that arm to be on if you're going to fall, you know, I'm here, don't ever feel like you don't have anyone, and it's a great thing to be like that, I love that I am, but at the same time, it can put you in very dangerous situations with people who take advantage of you, uh, people who think you are going to be a pushover, and then when you stand up for yourself, you're in the wrong, and that's where that emotional abuse kind of comes into play, so you got to be careful. Now, obviously, I waited, and my partner was like, we'll just block the number. And of course, you know, curiosity kills the cat. I want to know this person's going to leave a voice message. I want to know who it is. Well, what if it's not them? I got to know who it is. You know, of course you do. So I listened to the voicemail. Of course, it's this person. It's a minute long. I have a lot of rambling. Um, they didn't sound very mentally stable within the conversation and used my spiritual beliefs as part of the reason to call them back, that it was important in that sort of sense. And that's hard for someone like me who takes my spirituality very seriously. I want to spread love and kindness to everybody. I don't like causing conflict, of course. I'm a tough bitch if I have to be. I grew up in that area. You just end up being that person. But I enjoy being a loving person to everybody. So I'm now struggling with, should I call him back, make sure he's okay, I don't want anything bad to happen, but then of course, you know, you got to think of yourself first, and that's the biggest thing. When toxic people try to return into your life, even if it's Mercury retrograde, like it has been when this happened, which is funny and ironic, um, you have to remember you're stronger than that, and even though you want to be helpful, you think you can help someone, you don't want them to do anything dumb, and then you feel like you're to blame because you ignored them, which is where I kind of come into play. If your life's in a better place, and you know you're doing better for yourself like I am, you can't let these people come back. You know, I, of course, opened one of my Psalms uh, books I have, and even the passage that opened up brought up you know, toxic people coming back into your life. Obviously, I don't think that's what it said, but in that sense of evil sin following you and, you know, trying to get back into your life and having to pursue forward and ignore it. And I think it's really interesting to see that kind of come together because, you know, I'm weird like that and I put those things together. Um, but there, here's a short little video for you, and I think everyone needs to hear it. When those toxic people come back into your life, whether it's romantic, family, friends, coworkers, whoever, whatever... Don't let these people back into your life. You're better than it. You're moving forward. You got a better life for yourself. Keep yourself moving forward. Don't let toxic people back in, no matter how hard it is for you to say no to people. You're stronger than that. Okay, guys. You have a wonderful day. God bless you. Keep happy. Keep safe.